Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's bright gleaming. I can't think of a better place to have this conference than in St. Louis my hometown. We're known for a lot of things, joint partnership and collaboration. So let's collaborate this week. Let's make this program either better than it has been for all these years. This event is so valuable for the small business professionals. This is an incredible gathering, one of the largest I think that there has ever been. Small business folks, policy makers, contracting specialists, reform leads, all of the things that you're going to have an opportunity to hear about today are being done by everybody in this room. Hi, my name is Eric Ravelli. I'm the Deputy of Small Business Programs in beautiful LA, uh, Los Angeles, California. Uh, we work on a, a billion dollar program there. We cover three states, Southern California, Southern Nevada, and Arizona. And I love what I do. So as a small business professional, one of the things we're always looking to do is strive to see how we can improve our program. One thing we do at SBA and the General Counsel's Office and the Government Contracting Office is stay up to date on new legislative enactments and keep up with our regulatory requirements in terms of issuing proposed rules and finalizing rules and issuing policies. Uh, it's uh, very important for acquisition professionals to know what's happening in legislative and regulatory changes uh, that affect the type of work that they're doing. There's almost 369,000 jobs were created because of the efforts that you provide in bringing small businesses into our industrial base. Mr. Jackson's discussion this morning about his three pillars of connect, lead, and inspire fit in very well, not only with this particular opportunity, but also with the work I do with OTs. One of the things about other transactions is that they are new and different, which is gonna require people to have that sense of inspiration, to try new opportunities, new methodologies within their acquisition uh, experience, but also to lead others. This is my first small business training week and I was really excited to be here. I wanted to soak up all of the knowledge that I could gain and I thought that this would be a good opportunity to do so. I'm really, really happy to attend events such as this so I can continue to sharpen my knife, if you will, in the small business arena. This is my seventh small business training week and each year I gain more and more knowledge that's going to help me to become the professional that I've always dreamed of becoming. And so I, I welcome each and every opportunity to attend training such as this. Hopefully I can share what I've learned with others so that we can all become the small business professionals that the Department of Defense demands us to become. I'm really happy about where we're at now because what I think we have is something that everybody can execute. But you have to take a little bit of onus on you to say, you know what, when I get up every morning, we're going to focus in on the warfighter. Saying what you do now, but now we're going to tie those things to what your mission set is. And some of you guys are doing it now, but we need everybody to do it. Because in order for this to go, or for us to achieve success with any strategy, uh, everybody has to be a part of it. Coming to these events is so valuable. The opportunity to meet the actual buyers, the small business folks at the various agencies, finding the people who are the decision makers or the people who can assist in the individual facilities is absolutely invaluable. I believe that the small business is a huge part of our health of our uh, defense industrial base and uh, today we're going to be going over a lot of the best practices and how we could help small business and it's really good to uh, you know have people collaborate on what works what doesn't work i had worked for the army for for 34 years and i retired in 15 
And during the time I was retired, I did uh, was on a board of directors for small business, and so I understand how hard it can be for small business to get into the Department of Defense. They are really the incubator of innovation, so they are critical to the industrial base and the national security uh, of this country and the national defense strategy. So I'm here uh, to support this uh, conference, and I don't get out of the Pentagon very often, but I've been out at about uh, six conferences. Three of them have been small business. One of the things that I do on a frequent basis is I look for small businesses that are producing components for those 87 programs. So I've been with PTAC for 18 years, but this is my very first DOD Small Business Training Week. We are funded by the DLA and through state funds and county funds to uh, provide the assistance at no cost to all of our clients. And what we do is we take them through all the processes of government contracting. There is multiple sessions that we are able to see this week, not only the general sessions, but the breakout sessions as well. I think so far cybersecurity has been one of my largest um, of interest, uh, topics of interest because our small businesses are, are very um, unsure about what to do about protecting their companies. And so we've been given a lot of perspective today about ideas of things we can take back to them that doesn't cost a lot of money. Many of our small businesses have, you know, lack of resources, but they do want to protect their company's intellectual properties and their businesses. So it's good to be able to give them an alternative for now, things they can do to protect their company that doesn't cost them a lot of money. So I'm anxious to spread that information back. Now is how do we more align with the department's national defense priorities and how do we align with the national defense strategy? We're all here to connect with one another, to learn from each other, and help each other make good choices in what we do. But in making those connections, I charge all of us to go out and be good leaders, to lead our organizations in helping us to get to where we need to go, and to help the country in its national defense strategy get to where it needs to be. Do so in a very inspiring way. Inspire others with the passion that you have. Inspire others to care as much as you care. We all do that. Each one help one, we'll all get the job done. Everybody say it, connect, lead, inspire. Connect, lead, inspire. Okay, thank you.